National Salvation Army Week, and here in the Mahoning Valley, we're highlighting the history, services, and impact the nonprofit has on the community. First News reporter John Rudder shows us how the Salvation Army of Youngstown is celebrating. Since 1865, you heard that right. Next year, celebrating 165 years, the Salvation Army has answered the call. And here in the Moaning Valley, from the 1960s on, they've been helping the homeless, hungry, and anyone else who's fallen on hard times. We tell people we're not just a seasonal agency. We're here 365 days a year. We're serving meals. Uh, we're helping with food pantry. We're helping with clothing. As the organization observes Salvation Army Week, they're making sure they stay true to their roots, a resource that the community can constantly lean on. When we hear that there's children without shoes or children without a winter coat and we can provide that, it just that's what we're here for. The Army's March Out Hunger Campaign is entering its final two weeks, and they're pacing for more collections for the food pantry. So far, collecting more than 600 items. We have a number of volunteers in our kitchen every day, and uh, we only have one paid staff, so the rest of them are all volunteers, and so we're grateful for all the work they do. Whether it's hot meals, the Youngstown location serving more than 1,000 free lunches every week, clothing, or even community, they're answering that call to serve. It's good to know that we have helped someone and made their life better just by giving them a pair of shoes or a, or a pair of pants. The week of celebration culminates with a community day at the Salvation Army this Saturday, offering clothing, shoes, and household items, as well as seasonal decorations. We're going to ask for a $5 donation, so that's 50 cents an item. You can get 10 items for $5. The Salvation Army says they've seen a surge of families in need of assistance in some form or another, but they continue working to make sure every need is met. We're not surprised that new people are coming because people are just struggling. People are really struggling, like I said, to provide the basics, They're, even the food on their table. So uh, the numbers have been going up for the last few months, and we're not surprised, but we're just trying to make sure we have the resources to help them. Reporting in Youngstown, John Rutter, WKBN 27 First News. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.